Hey, how's it going guys? This is your boy Hazed, and today we're going to be looking at the Frost DPS Courses Dual Wield, and we're going to be looking at the Artifact Talents. Now, I'm not exactly sure how these Artifact Talents um, kind of level up at this point. They said we have to either do bosses or um, complete key things to get these activated, but I'm not exactly sure what those are, but we're going to take a look at the Talents at least. Um... This one at the top is kind of an interesting one. It's called Sindragoza's Fury, and it's kind of like Breath of Sindragoza, but you actually summon Sindragoza who casts Frost Breath. And the Frost Breath inflicts 27,000 frost damage to enemies in a four yard cone in front of the caster. In addition, the target's attack speed is decreased by 50% for 10 seconds, which is absolutely insane! little debuff there that comes off of that it's probably going to be a lot of damage too i can imagine and it's going to be really cool summoning a frost dragon to deal some damage especially if you're using it check out some of these other ones increase the damage dealt by your howling blast by 20 percent that's pretty gnarly especially with that 300 percent increase the damage of remorseless winter by 10 percent which we'll see a little bit of change later on in the artifact Anti-Magic Shell now clears debuffs when activated. That's pretty gnarly. So you're telling me that Anti-Magic Shell acts as a, like a dispel for roots? Or is it just like damage debuff? I don't know. We'll have to see. Increase the healing done by Death Strike by 200% while Icebound Fortitude is activated. So if I remember right... Death Strike now heals percentage of damage taken over a certain amount of time. So you'll be able to pop a uh, Icebound Fortitude and your Death Strike is going to heal 200%. So I can imagine that's how you're going to make your Death Strike do a lot of healing uh, in Legion. Increase your Frost Damage dealt by 6%. Of course that's good. It's like stacking Mastery. Reduce your damage taken by 6%. Oh, there's the, some of that damage mitigation I was talking about, guys, where we needed some of it uh, because we're losing blood presence. And basically, we're just going to be passively in frost presence. So I did say we needed some kind of natural hard, hardness, natural damage mitigation. And there's some right there. I've been wondering about that. All right, so we got Frozen Core. While Pillar of Frost is activated, enemies that attack you are automatically ensnared in chains of ice well that's kind of cool so yeah so if anyone hits you while you have uh, basically bursting they get changed so frost decays may not be a very good target to focus anymore in arena uh because of that uh, that'd be kind of cool to see oh nothing but boots increase the critical strike damage of obliterate by 20 percent remember we were talking about that frost damage you obliterate spec we want to run that adds another 20% to it. We may be looking at some pretty heavy obliterates, even with one-handers. Alright, let's see what this is. Crystalline Swords. As you attack, icy copies of Icebringer and Frost Reaper begin to float besides you. Hmm. When you trigger, Soul Blade and Icy Blades are unleashed and pierce their foe. Seems interesting. It's kind of like, you know, the blood cooldown where you have double weapon, but it looks like they're giving it to Frost also. Um... Looks like you, I don't know if you get all of these or you have to spec into one or two only, but it'll be interesting to see. Increase the effectiveness of Razor Ice Runeforge by 75%. Bad to the bone, that's a pretty big buff to a damaging uh, ability, that's for dang sure. Alright, let's check out this other tree on the other side. Hypothermia! Every periodic tick of Frost Fever deals 10% more damage. That's pretty crazy. That's, uh... Quite a stack on that dot. Alright, Chill of the Grave. Increase the range of Frost Strike by 8 yards. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me we're going to be able to Howling Blast and Frost Strike by like 8 yards away? I can't remember if normal melee abilities have like a 5 yard range add on another 8. So it's going to be like 13 yards maybe? That's that's going to be nuts. Ah, people are going to be so pissed at me. I Howling Blast Frost Strike from... Wow, like hunters and stuff are going to be pissed. <laughs> That's going to be funny as hell. Your obliterate has a chance to generate six more runic power. We like that. We like more runic power. More runic power, more runes, more procs. Oh, it's fun. We're going to have to check that one out. What do we got down here? 
Last but certainly not least, when Remorseless Winter expires, a burst of frost damage is released. Now remember how Remorseless Winter is now a uh, kind of a dot taking damage over time, you know, a little AoE, not a freeze anymore. Uh, basically, at the end of it, it's going to hit really hard, like an explosion. And basically, every time someone gets hit by it till the very end, it just kind of builds up, builds up, hits harder, hits harder, and then it just explodes and deals more damage for every time hit. So that's going to be wicked. Uh, mainly just going to focus on the Frost DK uh, artifact buffs. I have been curious about some of the stuff. Um, the hardness and some of the actual abilities are going to be really crazy as uh, major cooldowns for Frost. But anyways, guys, until next time, this was your boy Hayes.